Beanie Fanatic here. I uh, wanted to discuss counterfeit Beanie Babies, one f ones from the 90s, uh, that were um, considered rare and vintage and valuable at the time. Then they were retired before Big Beanie Mania. Beanie Mania. The ones, uh, and you'll see, um, as, as you can tell, the first one here, Trap, right? You didn't see that in the shelves during Beanie Mania. And we'll get to the Royal Blue Peanut, uh, the Jade Teddy, and Flutter. And all of them you did not see on the shelves. They were retired and rare and probably went for thousands of dollars. You know, I, I, I wonder if they went to the 10,000s. It's possible uh, during those times. So, of course, from that the large value of them at the time, you would expect counterfeits as well, which are still circulated around eBay and still, you know, uh, appreciated by the community and people will pay for them. So I wanted to take a look at a few eBay auctions that ended up at good prices to show that there's still some value in the replicas. I still appreciate them. Uh, I mean, I appreciate them. Once I found out that right, they were produced and are, you know, there is a good likeness between them and the actual, the authentic beanie. So I actually enjoy just, you know, comparing them to the real beanie. So that's why you collect the real ones, you collect the counterfeits, and you see, you know, it's good to compare in person, right? Hold them both in your hand. Um, yeah, so there was a large market then, and some counterfeiters made a lot of money, right? Producing them for less and yada yada, you know how it is. So, um, one of the more uh, right, valued counterfeits is trap. And I, you know, usually what I've seen, I, I got a Bronte counterfeit, which I did a video on for about thirty, which I think is cheap for a Bronte counterfeit. And so I, would, I always assume that the counterfeits, the ones from the mid nineties, they're worth about fifty bucks, I would say. But trap goes for a little bit higher. Than Right, whether or not people think it's real or fake, right? They want to get it, assuming that maybe it's real for this good of a price, right? Ninety bucks with a third gen hang tag, right? it's not a bad value. But this is definitely fake. You can tell by the tush tag at first, and the, the face is a little more pointed. It looks like it's tough. You know, this is it's pretty good made. It's a well made replica. This one, you can see it's come apart the seams a little bit. It's not as well made as the actual product. And we go here, you look at that tush tag and you compare it to what would be an authentic tush tag. And then you could go on, you can look online what an authentic tush tag looks like. It does not look like this. So that's the main tell right there. But it went for 92 bucks, which is pretty good for a counterfeit, I must say. Now let's go to the next trap. This is, and this looks, you know, these look real. They have a real look about them. They look good. Once again, you look at the tush tag. And it's just not, you know, it's it doesn't look like what a real first gen touch tag looks like, so you could tell it's fake. But this one went for fifty seven, which is also not bad, right? <clears throat> Pretty good. So trap goes for some good money. Next, we'll get to the royal blue peanut, which it's, I believe this went for one hundred fifty, and I've seen it uh, go for that much uh, previously, so that's why I believe it. I don't have to see if this is a fake sale or not. Who knows? It wasn't an auction, so it's hard uh, hard to tell the legitimacy. And look how bad that inky is. That's a terrible fake inky, it looks like. Right. <clears throat> um, but yeah, this is, you know, they admit it's a replica, which I respect the seller for knowing their stuff. And it, but it's still, I, you know, I'd like to get it. But yeah, people are pe people pay money for the... the pe Royal Blue replica, and yeah, well, it's uh, it's crazy to think that, right? But it, they're still collectible. So this is one that I had my eyes on and should have gotten because I've I, I've only seen uh, one of the jade, one counterfeit of the jade Teddy. And once again, respect to the seller, we're saying replica. Um, but it got sold immediately once they dropped the price down to fifty. I. I asked them 35, they 35 or 40. I think they responded with 40, and it was gone by then. I was, I missed out. Right, but it went for you know it went for around that price, which is good. Right? I think that's you know trap goes for a little more. I guess that's fine, right? People love trap, and trap goes for decent money in the market still. The authenticated, the authentic trap. So the other you know the replica trap seems to go just as much 
Uh, it's hard to tell whether or not people think it's real. Right? They're not. Are they putting replica in there? Probably not. Right? So, 57, 92. Right? So I missed out on this guy, which is nice. Went for 50. So I had to go for the um, the flutter replica. I, I've always wanted one, haven't had one, and I ended up getting it for 50. And not this 85. Ended up negotiating a little, and uh, it's comparing it to the real Flutter. It's pretty cool. I could, I should do a video on that one day, even though there already is a video on YouTube of that. But I had to make sure to you know I like I like collect. You know I've completed a lot of my rare vintage beanie collection, so now it's replica time, and maybe a few more mint hang tags. I've only completed it in terms of you know actually having them, but not like mint wise. So, but yeah, this this is a pretty cool Flutter. It, you know, the fl the real Flutter doesn't have big a big eyes like this. This one has big eyes, so that's the first hell of a counterfeit. All right, touch tag. But yeah, 50 bucks. So I think, you know, counterfeits, 50 bucks for the ones that were, you know, rare in the mid-90s, I still think. And counterfeits are cool in general. I don't know. It's, uh, you know, obviously you don't want to pay thousands for them, but if you could pay 25 bucks, it's still, you know, it's not a bad value for, you know, counterfeit, in my opinion.